went to go leave my car at the mechanic. It's a good morning. Today is Tuesday, the 29th of December. Well, I went to go take the car to uh, to my mechanic, and he said that he was really backed up, so if I could please send it tomorrow. I said, all right, no problem. Kind of early to work. So stay in the car for a little bit. Honest truth is, I don't want to go into work right now. I'm just tired, bro. I don't know. I want to go to sleep. I just got out of work, and I want to say I'm sorry that the vlogs have been a little bit low quality lately. The problem is that I lost my camera lens, but I am blessed enough to buy a new camera lens. So it's going to look a lot better now. You guys are going to love it, hopefully. I just got out of work. I'm on my way to go see my wife. Then I'm going to go upload this vlog. I hope you guys like the vlogs lately. By the way, the Christmas one, I'm so sorry I didn't put music and I like forgot to fast forward the video. I'm just, I'm sorry, you know? I wasn't being precautious. And I'm sorry that I haven't been putting music at the end of the vlog either. It's, I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with me. I need to fix that. So I saw my wife today. It was beautiful. It was amazing. Why am I sweating? It's hot outside. I wish I was like in New York. I wish I was nice and cold or LA. I saw my wife. She's the most beautiful person ever. She bought ham and cheese because I completely forgot the cheese yesterday. I bought ham yesterday, but she wanted like a special ham. My friend Juan joined me for a little game of Call of Duty just for fun. We were going to go to the gym. No, we weren't. I kind of want to go to the gym, but I don't because I know I'm going to eat my face out like on Wednesday or Thursday. So there's no point. Uh, I'm making some little kind of healthy patties. They look they look nice. They're flavored with Chipotle flavor god and pizza flavor god. They're going to taste amazing. And I'm preheating with my new oven. Look at the new oven. Boom. Look at my rig to watch. Whatever. This is my new oven. This is what I'm baking. It's going to taste super awesome. So I wanted to talk about something that happened yesterday. Remember how I said I got that oven yesterday? And I really liked it, etc, etc, etc. Um, well, I didn't take into consideration of asking my wife beforehand. And this isn't the first time I do something like this. And it's gotten me into some trouble before. We need to learn how to communicate with other people and not make impulsive decisions based on what we want at that very moment. Point being, yesterday she came in and she was surprised that we got an oven, but then she was like, wow, it's so huge. And she didn't tell me that she had seen one that was a lot cheaper and a lot smaller. I wanted this one just because it was big and I can like fit a pizza in it and do like a million chicken nuggets. But that's me, you know? I wasn't thinking about her. I wasn't thinking about what she wanted, what her utility would have been. And that was very wrong on my behalf. We need to learn how to ask people that would be affected by our decisions before we take our decisions, especially if we're married. And I guess little by little, I just got married, so little by little, I'm starting to learn the habits. I'm starting to learn everything that's going on. And, like, little things that I didn't see before when I wasn't married, when I was just um, just boyfriend and girlfriend with her, or just her boyfriend, whatever. I didn't see those little details, but now I know. Look, this is wrong. Example, like, throwing my socks on the floor, like... It, it wouldn't, I, I never did it in front of her before, so I didn't know it bothered her, but now I know that it, it's not good. <laughs> but little by little, I start learning, and so should all of us. At all times when we need to make a decision and it involves somebody else in your life, especially if they're important, make sure you get their point of view, make sure you get their, I don't want to say approval, but you get their perspective on it. But with that, I leave you. Have a great night. Sleep tight. God bless. Goodbye. Also, I forgot to tell you, my wife is home. Good night.